So you're going to build a spider. Let's take a look at what's inside the kit. We've got a click and stick tap light. That's going to be the body for spider. And then we have uh, some header pin connectors. We've got our Arduino Nano and some popsicle sticks. So you'll need those. And we've also got some O-rings and an L298 motor controller, two 5-volt motors. Those are toy motors. Uh, we've got two bottle caps with holes drilled in them that are large and two bottle caps with holes drilled in them that are small. And then we have two 9-volt batteries. All right. Uh, the next thing is we have our mini USB cable. So that's going to allow us to connect our computer to our Arduino. Then we've got four header pin connector jumper wires. And uh, these are female-to-female -female jumper wires. And then we also have some wire. You're going to need that to connect all the different parts and two 9-volt battery connectors. So you'll need those to bring the power from the batteries to your uh, motor controller. We have also have, also have a, wa a washer there. That's a fender washer. And then two three-color LEDs. Oh, that's a red, blue, and green LED. And we need also uh, two resistors. There's one still in the box there. And uh, we need a paper clip. You'll also need electrical tape or shrink wrap. You can use either to cover up uh, the exposed electrical connections. And so now let's take a look at the, uh, the tools we're going to need to put all this stuff together. So we'll push this all aside. So we're going to need a wire stripper. Now you can also use a scissors or a nipper pliers to strip the insulation off the wire. Here's a nipper pliers. Recommend using one of those too. And then a regular pliers that can be used to uh, crimp things. And then we have our needle nose, which can be used to bend the wire in a loop. We have a small screwdriver, which we're going to need to use, and a hot glue gun. And we're also going to need a soldering iron, which will allow us to connect all of the different uh, wires together using solder and gives a, a more permanent connection. If you decide to use the shrink wrap, you'll also need a heat gun. 